everybody, this is Kevin again with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes and talks to some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and talks to them about their struggles, overcoming, and how they've handled their situations throughout their career to become successful. So we talked in a little bit of the other segment here, um, a little bit about uh, how to speed up a clip, and we had mentioned that we would let you know about how to implement in maybe a, a music clip or how to do that. And we try to keep these, you know, segments short. So, and they're gonna be kind of spread out because there's a lot of, you know, different techniques and a lot of things throughout Da Vinci. Even when we, you know, started editing, uh, you know, years ago there, it's, it's, it's sometimes can be very confusing. So we just wanna try to keep it uh, short, simple, and easy. So we talked in the other segment about uh, how to speed up a clip. So we had this, the, the, the clip that we did here, we sped it up and you'll see that it was uh, 2501, uh, the clip speed. And what we did here is from our timeline, we have um, you know music and stuff in here that is a non-copyrighted uh, music programs and other things that uh, we do utilize. And we'll talk about the copyrights and uh, some other ideas too on uh, if you just want to, you know, change up your music too and how to avoid from some of the copyrights there because uh, we all know that uh, YouTube is their algorithms and they're mainly computers that are looking uh, through what's what's copyrighted and even if you play a second of a clip, sometimes that'll, your, your clip will just get copyrighted. So we'll talk about that more in a segment. Uh, but what we do is spin here into your uh, music clip and then drag it down uh, into your timeline underneath the uh, the clip that you had uh, created and sped up. So what you want to do is if you you know have sped up this this clip, and you don't want to put it above it, of course. You know, as you know that if you put it above it, then you're going to be seeing the music timeline. But as you see, when you drag this down into your timeline, put this the music right here, line it up into your how you have the magnet here to pull it over. And you can do the same thing with your music if you want it faster, slower, as we talked in the other segment. Uh, but what we have is we just have it the bass play. So what you'll see is when you play through, so what you see here is we have the music pulled down and your clip sped up. Now, of course, sometimes even when you're playing this through, you may see a lag in your video. It's just uh, DaVinci trying to catch up depending upon your processor and your computer. But when you do go to pull, pull it over and uh, download it, it does record with the correct speed. It's just got to catch up uh, within DaVinci. You see DaVinci's a little bit laggy there. It's because it's trying to catch up with the overall clip speed that we sent. But uh, once it does record, it, your music and everything will go uh, within the clip and play, play fine and will play through with the sped up clip. And then once you already have your other clip uh, there, then you can drag in your next clip uh, to the one that's the regular speed. You just drag it over and then in the next uh, series, we'll talk a little bit about how to, uh, within the same one, we'll talk about how to implement in uh, transition. There's a, there's many different transitions within DaVinci's Resolve too as well. Just like we've talked here, we like to try to help all you guys out there, just like uh, many of the other YouTubers out there that are also helping uh, out with uh, Da DaVinci. There's so many different uh, things within DaVinci even to, you know, we've, we've just only touched the surface with this, with even going over some of the things that we've covered or even edited. Uh, within the paid program, there's a lot more uh, steps. So right now we're just going through the free program. And as I said, we'll talk about how to do a transition in the next video. And we hope this helps and we'll see you on the next one.